Hello everyone, welcome to the Skirty channel. In this video, we are going to talk about another geometry problem. We are going to talk about the yellow area that we are going to have here. To do this, let's start with what we have. We have one square and we know that the side of this square is 4. We also know that there is one semicircle here and a quarter circle on the other side which shown in red. Based on these, we are going to find the area that is included between the quarter circle and the semicircle. Before moving forward to talk about the solution, make sure that you pause the video to think about this problem. We will see you in about 15 seconds. Meanwhile, please consider subscribing to this channel. See you in a bit. To solve this problem, I'm going to start with adding two lines. Both of them are shown as dashed lines. One of them is red and the other one is green. I'm going to say that the green line here is 4 because it is the radius of the quarter circle that we have. On the other hand, the red line here is 2 because this is the radius of the semicircle that we have here. I'm going to also say that the red line and the green line are making a right angle. The reason is the green line is the radius of the quarter circle and the red line is tangent to that quarter circle. Because of that, we are going to have a right angle at the point of intersection. Now let's add a new line here, the one in purple. The purple line is making two angles here, the D1 and the D2 angles that I'm having here. Now let's focus on D1. First of all, D1 and D2 are equal. The reason is AD and the line that we have here in green are equal. They are both the radius of the quarter circle that we have. We can also say that AF and the red line is also equal because they are both the radius of the semicircle. As a result, D1 and D2 are equal. Now let's focus on D1. To find the angle that we have for D1, we are going to use arc tan. We can say that the tan for the angle that we have as D1 is going to be 2 over 4. So D1 is going to be arctan of half. And we can say that D1 plus D2 is going to be 2 times arctan of half, which is equal to around 53.13 degrees. Now let's make another connection. I'm going to connect the points that we have as A and the one that we have here as E. If we focus on the sector that we have as A, D, E, for this sector, we can calculate the area that this sector has. It is calculated as the angle that we have for D1 plus D2 over 360 times pi times the radius of this quarter circuit, which is 4. So the whole area of the sector can be calculated as 53.13 over 360 times pi times 4 to the power of 2. 
Now let's focus on the triangle that we have here as ADE. The area of this triangle can be calculated as 1 over 2 times 4 to the power of 2 times sine of the angle that we have as D1 plus D2, which is the one that you are seeing here. Remember, DE and AD are equal here. Now, based on what we saw, the area of the one that you are seeing here marked as blue can be calculated as the area of the sector that we found minus the area of the triangle that we found. And if you calculate the values, you're going to see that the area is going to be around 1.01. .01. Now let's focus on the other side. We are going to find the angle that we have for E1 first. E1 can be calculated as 180 minus D1 or around 126.87 degrees. Now we are going to find the sector area that we have as AFE. It can be calculated as the area that we have for F1 divided by 360 times pi times the radius of the semicircle that we have, which is 2 to the power of 2, and it is the area of the sector that we have here. Now let's focus on the triangle that we have here as AFE. The area of this triangle can be calculated as 1 over 2 times 2 to the power of 2 times sine of f1 which around the value that you are seeing here finally the area that we have marked here can be calculated as the area that we found for the sector minus the area that we found for the triangle which is around 2.82 now that we found the area that we have for the lower and the upper sections of this yellow region, we can calculate the area of this yellow region as 1.01 plus 2.82, which is around 3.84. And that's our final answer. Thanks for watching the video. If you would like to see more puzzles, mass involved activities, and problems from different math competitions and Olympiads, please subscribe to this channel. This is the Security Channel. I hope to see you in the next video.